Hey, what is going on, Guardians? Nem with Planet Destiny here. And it's Friday, which means that Zur is back in the world of Destiny, and this week he is located on Nessa's over here in the Watcher's Grave. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what he has for us this week, shall we? Alrighty, starting off we have the Risk Runner, Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunters, Karnstein Armlets for the Warlock, and the Armamentarium for the Titans. Now starting off with the Risk Runner, an exotic submachine gun with its Arc Conductor intrinsic perk. When taking Arc damage, this weapon becomes more powerful and resists incoming Arc damage. Kills extend the time in this overcharge state. Now this is actually a really, really fun weapon to use, um, especially in the Crucible right now, because there's a lot of people running Thunderlord, and this kind of gives you an edge if you're if you're close enough it'll give you an edge against people using thunderlord because the it will proc its arc conductor perk and its superconductor trait which is when arc conductor is active shots fired have the chance to be uh, to become chain lightning and return ammo so if you don't have this for some reason go ahead and pick it up because this is a fantastic way to counter the Thunderlord if you are within range and let's rem uh, remember that SMG's range was uh, recently buffed with last update so pick this guy up if you don't have it the young Ahamkara spine for the hunter with its wish dragon teeth and tricks and perk increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy now I am I, I don't use trip mines um, at all so this is isn't too this is not an exotic that i can vouch for essentially um yeah it will make the trip mine very hard to kill um and as far as damage wise i believe uh it can one shot somebody under a certain resilience but let's go ahead and take a look at the perks that we got so we have fusion rifle loader hand cannon loader impact induction which causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown sniper rifle scavenger and machine gun scavenger now this machine gun scavenger is actually a new perk that was recently added uh, to accommodate for the machine guns coming next week for the warlocks the karnstein armlets Vampire's Caress. Melee kills instantly restore a large amount of health and continue to restore health afterwards for a short duration. I believe I talked about these last week or the week before. Uh, this essentially gives you a uh, baby version of Devour. Um, it doesn't have to be a melee ability kill as long as it's just any melee kills. Um, it will immediately get you a good chunk of your health back and it kind of like boosts your recovery to crazy status because you'll continue to heal for a few seconds meanwhile the perk is active for this pretty fun to use i i haven't really played with these in a while um, but you can definitely make some interesting builds with the karnstein armlets um, we have fusion rifle loader hand cannon loader impact induction uh, machine gun and uh, sniper rifle scavenger so set rolls as before and finally we have the armamentarium for the titans it gives you another grenade charge pretty straightforward uh, for its perks we have unflinching bow aim unflinching fusion rifle aim and unflinching kinetic kinetic aim uh, scout rifle reserves and special ammo finder uh, again straightforward if you just want to use two grenades out uh, you know pick this one up otherwise you can pass on it we have the faded engram as per normal and the five of the swords for additional modifiers for the 100k score for nightfalls now i'm sure a lot of you are kind of disappointed at the moment because you know we were kind of hoping that zur would bring forsaken exotics um to destiny uh once season of the forge came out unfortunately that's not the case we now know thanks to the recent bungee Vidoc and the outline for the annual pass that Zur is kind of being reworked at the moment. Uh, he does have bounties coming in season of the Drifter, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's correct. Um, I'll put it up on the screen here for you guys. So he will have some type of bounties. Um, not entirely sure what that's going to consist of. We don't know much about that yet since we're barely going going into uh, Black Armory next week. But that is going to be all for us today, Guardians. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.